Hi everyone and welcome to today's session on Apex Learning. My name is Shiva and I'll be walking you through a really cool and practical technique on how to enable task approvals directly from email using Oracle REST Data Services or ORDS in short. Now, before we dive in, just a quick heads up. Out of box, Oracle Apex doesn't provide a way to approve tasks through emails. That feature does not exist yet. So, we had to get little creative and build a smart workaround and that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. Let's get started. First, let's understand the logic that we came up with. Since Apex doesn't offer a built-in email-based approvals for task, we decided to simulate the experience using combination of email buttons, SJPA and good old PLSQL. Right now, it works only when each task carries only one approver and here it out it works. When a task is assigned, the approver receives an email with all the necessary task details including two buttons, one is of approve and another one is of reject. Now, they aren't just pretty buttons, they are actually HTML buttons that calls an ORDS based REST API. When the user clicks one, a record is inserted into a custom table. This record includes task ID, action taken, either it is approve or reject. But it doesn't stop there. Once the data is captured, an automation process picks it up, figures out who his approver is, and programmatically creates a session under their name. Using Apex approval package, it then performs the approval or rejection automatically, as if the approver did it themselves in the app. And just like that, we just enable the email based task approval in Oracle Apex. Pretty neat, right? So, in this session, we are going to break this down step by step. We look into the REST API email template, custom table structure, automation logic, everything you need to implement this on your own. Let's get into the technical side of it and see how it all been done. And here are the prerequisites. Oracle Apex workspace with ORD is configurable. Email configuration is enabled at the instance level. An Apex version of 23.1 or later. Simple application with task definition and the stem minutes of your time. For this, we have created a simple leave approval application. It just carries uh, three pages. One is of home, second one is of my leave request, third one is of task details, fourth one is of leave request form, and fifth one is for my approvals for the approvers. Let me just log into the application and show you. I just created a local user called Jonas. The home page carries an interactive grid with all the employee level information where their manager and their email part. And the Jonas reports to King. Right now, the email is are all under held my name for the testing purposes. And this is the home page. And the second one is my leave request where all the tasks that are initiated be, will be listed down. And request leave is a form page where the start date and end date of the leave being mentioned and the reason. And when the create button is pressed, it would be created for the approval of the logged in user. Um, my approvals is for the approvers part, but we don't use that in our session because we are going to automate that via email buttons. So that's it from the application part. Let me just navigate to the SQL comments part. I'm just using three tables here for this application. One is of employee info. This is the employee level information. Second one is of employee leave request where the audit table of leave requests, including the task ID, approval name, entire set of details will be orchestrated from here. And the third one is the important table for our case where employee task approvals. This is where the record is inserted from the REST API that we are calling from the email buttons. It would carry the task ID and outcome of the task either it's approve or reject. This task ID will be held in the email parameter of the sorry URL parameter of the REST API. So this is how we work. This would be picked up by the automation and it will approve or reject the task. Let me just navigate to the package that we are currently using. Now we can have a quick walkthrough on the package that we are using here for the email orchestration. This is the package that we are using through. 
and the first procedure would be sending the email to the approver at the time of the task creation with two buttons of approve or reject and the second and third one will be sent to the requester at the time of approval and reject respectively and the fourth and fifth one are the important in our case this function will be called from the rest source that we are calling through so it would just get the task id from the rest api and would just insert into the table of emp task approval this is the function of these two functions and the last one is for the scheduling purpose the schedule would pick it up from the emp task approval table and it would just programmatically create a session and would just approve or reject using the apex approval package and this is the package overview we can see the body of it the first procedure would pick up the leave request details from the leave request table and the approval email obviously and it would just create an html body with two buttons one is of approve and another one is of reject with api referred over here after ordia schema registration we will be creating a rest api that api would be pasted here uh, let me come through this part later and i will just send the email and uh, send approval notification and send rejection notification for the request and i'm just skipping this part and this is the important function rest approve task function it would gets the p task id as a parameter it would just insert into amp task approval table with the task action being performed which is approve or reject and the reject function is for rejection it will be called from the reject api if the action being already taken it would return a message as task action already taken and the last one is for leave approval schedule where the cursor picks it up from the email task approval page and it will just gets the potential owner of the task create the session under their name and either approves or rejects based on the outcome that is stored in the emp task approval table and it just updates the table as completed so this is how being orchestrated from the package perspective now let me just walk you through the task definition details i have created a task definition called leave request and its subject is called leave request for employee we can change the time of creation i have created a task detail page and i have a potential owner of this task which is being tracked based on the apex detail pk which is tracking of each task number if you have already created a task definition you would have come across of this apex task pk and i have few parameters which is in date reason start date and the total days of leave and i have three actions first is of approve at the time of the approve it would just update the leave request audit table and it just sends the approver to the requester which is notification to the requester and the second one is of reject same case for the sends the email to the requester and the third one is for the important case of our case it will send the email to the approver with the rest api buttons and this is for the task definition and i will quickly go through the automation part as well in automation part i just call the procedure that i have in my package it just has one action which is leave approval schedule yeah that's it from the automation part i think we have covered most of the technical part from the application perspective now we can go and configure the restful data services clicking on the register schema to ods just click on save schema attributes and it will just create a default module which is emp table that's what i warned you in the previous part it will just create a module under the emp table we need to create a new module here for our task approval part and this creating a new module over here and this name it in as approval task you can have the same name for the module name 
as well as for the base path as well just having it as the same one and I'm just clicking on create module and after creation of module I'm just need to create a template which is actual SJP URL template and just having it as approve and embedded over as URL parameter of task ID which is being embedded and called over the button and just click on create handler here the method is get and the source type is plsql both carries a unique functionality over here get is because when the email button is pressed it would call the default system browser under the get method there will be no post or patch method calling so here get is only needed and the source type is plsql because the JSON would give you a kind of an error-like message in the browser. If you want a structured me message like task approved or task rejected in kind of HTML format, you will be need to having a PLSQL. So here the PLSQL, I am just creating a PLSQL source type and I am having a PLSQL body structure and just having it. And here is the PLSQL source body that I have created drafter. So I'm just pasting it over here. It would call the function of our package, which is approved approve function with the task ID as URL parameter. It would just receive the message from that table if the task is approved or task is rejected or action already being taken. And it would just give some structured message which is task approved or task rejected in the form of readable format and this is the source of it and the same functionality goes for the reject as well we need to create a template for the reject part as well and just having it as reject and with the task ID the same get method and PLSQL source also goes on through this create handler as well I'm just pasting it for the reject part. I'm just creating the gate handle. And that's it. We are good to go, I think. We need to copy this URL, which is approved task rest JP. We need to paste it over in our package where I have referred as API here just navigating to the body you can find the API here yeah you need to paste it it would be embedded with the task ID so you can delete that part and here we will be pasting the reject URL Project. yeah that's it we have just completed the entire technical part now we can go and test this functionality and just logging into the application with the name of Jonas and he reports to the king and I'm just going to create a leave request here Firstly, and here I will just have as 23 and end date as 25, which is three days. And the reason as please approve. And I'm just hitting on the create button. And you can see the task has been created under the name of Jonas, and it's assigned to the king. Let me switch to the email. We got a new email which is leave request upload record for Jonas. I'm just looking into it and we got all the necessary details that is required and with two buttons as approve and an anonymous reject and just clicking as approve and you can see this message will be appearing which is task approve and we shall just wait for the automation to run. and just manually triggering the automation for now just triggered and i'm just navigating the and re refreshing the page you could see 
task has been approved and the name of thing. So we have successfully implemented the email task approval and rejection. Let me just show you the EMP task approval table so that it would be better understanding. EMP task approval. Here we have our tracking ID which is task ID and the outcome has approved. This automation picks it up and it has completed the approval logic. And that's it. We have successfully implemented the email approval with click of a button. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Also, please feel free if you have any suggestions. If you want the SQL or application extract, please let me know in the comment box with your email. I can send you the draft. And thanks for joining. See you around.